Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, August the 21st. It's the 10th week after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 145 to 168. And 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 19 through 33. And join me now in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I cry to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God, I will keep your statutes. Alleluia. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I cry to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God, I will keep your statutes. I cried out to you, save me and I shall keep your word. I cried out to you early in the morning. I hoped in your promises. My eyes greet the night watches that I might meditate in your word. In your loving kindness, hear my voice. Give me life according to your judgment. They draw near that follow after evil. They are far from your law. But you are near, O God, and all your commandments are true. I've known from of old that you have planted your testimonies forever. Alleluia, deliver me from my affliction, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and save me. Give me life according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O God. Give me life according to your judgment. Many are my persecutors and enemies, and yet I do not turn away from your word. I looked upon the transgressors and was grieved, because they have not kept your law. Consider how I love your precepts, O God. Give me life according to your mercy. Your word is true from the beginning, and your judgments are righteous and last forever. Alleluia, leaders have persecuted me without cause. But my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your promises like one that finds great spoil. I hate and abhor lies, but your law I love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. They have great peace who love your law, and nothing shall offend them. I have hoped for your salvation and done your commandments. I've kept your laws, and I love them exceedingly. I've kept your precepts, and all of my ways are before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cry to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God. I will keep your statutes. Alleluia. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 18, beginning at verse 19. David hears of Absalom's death. Then Ahimaaz, the son of Zadok, said, Let me run and carry tidings to the king that Yahweh has delivered him from the power of his enemies. Joab said to him, You are not to carry tidings today. You may carry tidings another day, but today you shall not do so, because the king's son is dead. Then Joab said to a Cushite, Go tell the king what you have seen. The Cushite bowed before Joab and ran. Then Ahimaaz, the son of Zadok, said again to Joab, Come what may, let me also run after the Cushite. And Joab said, Why will you run, my son, 
seeing that you have no reward for the tidings. Come what may, he said, I will run. And so he said to him, run. Then Ahimaaz ran by the way of the plain and outran the Cushite. Now David was sitting between the two gates. The sentinel went up to the roof of the gate by the wall. And when he looked up, he saw a man running alone. The sentinel shouted and told the king. The king said, if he is alone, there are tidings in his mouth. He kept coming and drew near. Then the sentinel saw another man running, and the sentinel called to the gatekeeper and said, See, another man running alone. The king said, He also is bringing tidings. The sentinel said, I think the running of the first one is like the running of Ahimaaz, the son of Zadok. The king said, He is a good man and comes with good tidings. Then Ahimaaz cried out to the king, All is well. He prostrated himself before the king with his face to the ground and said, Bless be Yahweh your God, who has delivered up the men who raised their hand against my lord the king. The king said, Is it well with the young men Epsilon? And Ahimaaz answered, When Joab sent your servant, I saw a great tumult, but I do not know what it was. The king said, Turn aside and stand here. And so he turned aside and stood still. Then the Cushite came, and the Cushite said, Good tidings for my lord the king, for Yahweh has vindicated you this day, delivering you from the power of all who rose up against you. The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with the young man Absalom? The Cushite answered, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rise up to do you harm, be like that young man. The king was deeply moved, and he went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I have died instead of you? O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. Here ends the lesson. And now when the words our Savior taught us were bold to say. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We cry to you, dear God, early in the morning, and hope in your word. You are great, and greatly to be praised, for your righteous judgments last forever. Forgive our iniquities, and save us from evil and deceit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.